Here we go. Present. Start this up. Well, welcome everybody. Hello everybody at YouTube as well. Thank you so much for stopping in. Uh, this is my Lost Thunder set review. Um, we're gonna have a fun time looking this over. Um, I did all the GXs, I did the supporters, the prism stars, and all the items. And I also did some of the other cards here and there, what I thought were cool. I did not touch all of them, but we'll go ahead and have fun with this. Uh, so Lost Thunder set review. So there are 13 total GXs. There is a fat list of them. Um, we have the Velisophon, or however you say it, Genesect, Lugia, Macargo, Mimikyu, Alolan Ninetales, Sceptile, Shuckle, um, Siglift, Suicune, Tyranitar, uh, what's his name? God damn it, Verizian, and Zeraora, the new Pokemon um, that came out. So this will be fun. Let's go ahead and check this out. We have Velisophon and Genesect GX. Uh, Velisophon is a fire Pokemon with 180 health. Uh, he is a basic. He is an ultra beast as well, so you can definitely use your beast rings on him and whatnot. It's cool to have a fire ultra beast. Um, so for one fire energy, you can burn and confuse your opponent's Pokemon. Um, not terrible, very interesting. Uh, mind burn 50 times. You may send any number of fire energy attached to your Pokemon in play. So that's not just Felicifont, that's any Pokemon in play. Um, it'll be interesting for uh, expanded. Um, in the same bulk deck, you can just blacksmith to this and then throw away all your bulk energies on the bench and just kind of use this as a, um, as a sweeper kind of, or as an attacker. Really awesome. Um, burst GX, discard one of your prize cards. If that card is an energy, attach it to one of your Pokemon. Interesting GX. Um, I don't know. I rate this card four out of five. I don't know. It's really cool to have a Fire Ultra Beast. I think I'll have a lot of fun with this in Expanded, only because you sit with six energies on your Volks anyways. So you can Blacksmith to this, one turn setup, and then throw away only your energies on the Volks. That's ridiculous. Four energies is 200 damage. Uh, that's one Volk setup and then one other. Then you can use Victina to shuffle all the other energies back. The deck just has so much synergy now. Um, a lot of fun. Um, we have Genesect GX, um, ability double cast, uh, cassette, whoops. Uh, you can attach two tool, tar tool cards to this Pokemon. Uh, kind of cool, you can attach double uh, frying pan to reduce a lot of damage. You can attach double choice pan to increase a lot of damage. Um, for metal, metal colorless, it does 130. So double choice pan means you're hitting 190, um, which is quite interesting. Um, Breaker, uh, Break Buster GX, 190 damage, um, does not apply to resistance. So with that, um, you're able to beat through anything with Choice Band. You're hitting, what, uh, 220. Um, it doesn't um, apply resistance, but so it does weakness, so you'll still be able to kill Gardevoir with it. Um, one thing is uh, Double Choice Band does let you hit 250 against certain things as well. Um... What's the YouTube link? I have no idea yet. We'll have to we'll have to figure that out. I think it's I think it's just Evil Salad or Evil Salad TV, but we'll have to figure out exactly what it is. I was trying to find it today, um, but we'll get that going. Um, so we have Lugia GX and Macargo GX is our next two. Um, there we go. Cool. Um, with that, Lugia GX, really, really strong Pokemon, basic at 190 health. Um, triple colorless, which isn't terrible um, with some of the items that are coming out as well. But 30 plus, it does 30 times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. So it'll be doing some good damage. Um, check some Pokemon with Choice Band on it as well. Um, four energies. Um, so DCE, double DCE does 170 with Choice Band. You do 200. Um, it can't do the attack next turn, but um, with that, you can swap that with Guzma and whatnot. Um, Lost Purge GX put your opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into the Lost Zone. Um, so that one's really interesting. You can really make some uh, interesting plays and throw some people behind if that... Uh, if that's all they have so it'll be um i think this card will be used pretty much um right away um i probably give this like a three or four out of five for sure uh i i honestly think lugia will see play on it um 
right away, or people will try to make it work right away, if anything. Um, Macargo GX. Macargo GX synergizes really well with the other Macargo. It's pretty cool. Um, Crush Charge. Once per turn, you may discard the top card of your deck. Um, if that card's a basic energy, attach it to one of your Pokemon. So matched with the other Macargo, you can technically just attach an energy for free. Um, really, really cool. Um, Lava Flow. Uh, fire, fire, colorless, 50 plus. Uh, damage you get to discard any number of basic energy from your poke from this Pokemon. It does 50 uh, more for each energy discarded this way. So um, with that 50 plus, so um, if you discard all three energies, you're doing um, 200 damage. Not bad. Uh, 230 with Choice Band. Um, one energy Magma Burn. Discard the top five uh, cards of your opponent's deck. Pretty cool. Not super crazy, but it's on a Macargo, better on a than on a Charizard. Um, five, I guess, instead of thirteen, but um, definitely probably a little bit more usable, if anything. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I can see Macargo seeing play and having fun. Um, I I rate it like probably three or four out of five for sure. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Ooh. Oh lord, can't get the songs. All right, next slide. We have. Oh god, I messed up. Oh no, no one look at this. No one look at the top. Oh god, I feel really dumb. I I didn't get the top. I thought I looked them all up. Uh, stop using um. Yeah, I, that's why I don't do YouTube. Uh. Mimikyu GX, Mimikyu GX 170 health, pretty awesome. We also have a Lolan Ninetales GX. I totally didn't get the top of the uh, slide done, unfortunate. But we have Perplex, active, Pokemon is now confused for one fairy, pretty awesome. For a basic Pokemon, um, it's a little less healthier than um, Espeon, but it'll be able to confuse, chill out. I don't know how much it'll be used. Uh, we have Cascading ba uh, Barrage, 10+. plus. This attack does 30 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active. So it's kind of like um, a Wobbuffet that you can then kind of add damage on later, which is interesting. Not too crazy. For one fairy, Dream Fear, shuffle one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and all cards attached to their deck. So with that, it's pretty nice. You can uh, stop their setup in the tracks for one fairy uh probably can see play in some decks it's a targeted tapu fini which is really nice oh it has no weakness either that's really cool didn't even realize um and then we have lonely nine tails gx mystery uh mysterious guidance when you play this card from your hand you get to search your deck for two item cards and put it into your hand shuffle your deck afterwards very strong effect will be super useful for uh Stage two decks will be super useful for Buzz probably if someone wants to play Ninetale Buzz. Uh, we have the unit energy for it and other things that go along with it to synergize. Very very cool card. It'll definitely um, see play right away. Snowy Wind 70 damage. This does 30 damage, so it's a 70 and 30. So you can clean up with it uh, with the Buzz deck too if you're running normal Buzz and whatnot. And then Sublimination GX, I think that, uh, Sublimination, yeah. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, it's knocked out. Interesting, you can get two prizes for nothing. You don't have to worry about damage caps. Um, so that'll definitely s see some play in some niche, some situations for sure. So we have Sceptile and Shuckle GX. Sceptile GX uh, being Grass and Sep uh, Shuckle both being Grass. Sceptile, Sage 2, 230 health. Uh, a little less health than um, the 250 years, but it has the same health as Gardevoir, which is nice. And pretty healthy. Mock Cut, 60 damage. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Very strong for one grass. You can do 90 damage with Choice Band, which adds up. And then also you're getting rid of the DCE of um, Zork and other special energies from, from other po uh, decks as far as spread. And stuff so you two shot cocos and you get rid of dces on the way which is really nice uh we have leaf cyclone two double grass 130 which is very awesome for two grass you do 160 for uh choice band 
move the grass energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So you'll be able to move energies around and uh, not kind of leave this up to die with all your energy, which is nice. Jungle Heal GX, heal all damaged Pokemon uh, from each of your, or heal all damage from each of your Pokemon with a grass energy attached to them. So if you play that, your Leaf Cyclone correctly, you can set up and remove all the damage from your board, which is really cool as well. Uh, Shuckle GX, Protective Pot, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon uh, by your opponent's Pokemon with two or less energy attached to them. Pretty interesting. So prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon with two or less energy attached to them. So basically, it doesn't take damage from DCE. They have to get up to three energy. So this can definitely wall off some Pokemon um, and some decks. Uh, they can add an extra energy to the card, but then they're having to commit. If it's a Zoro deck that doesn't run a second set of energy or like a, a splash, then they're, they have to throw away double DCE to be able to ever attack. Uh, triple poison, one colorless. You get to do three damage per turn instead of one interesting uh wrap 40 damage your opponent's now paralyzed just kind of trolly but the first one is definitely strong um the the other two or at least wrap can be used to stall out a little bit of the game as well um these cards are cool i think septile can see play right away except uh especially with the gra uh grovile that came in the set for setting up um it'll kind of play like um old fluffy chomp with uh, playing the Lurantis that increases damage as well. Um, so these will be really fun. We have Sigilyph and Suicune GX, uh, a Psychic and a Water Pokemon. Um, with that, Sigilyph GX, Mirror Counter. If this Pokemon isn't your active and is damaged by an attack of your opponent's GX or EX, put damage counters equal to the damage done to it to this Pokemon. So 170 is pretty fragile, but if that that means if they do 170 that they take 170 that's it's pretty interesting it's kind of very strong um so um you can definitely i can see this being if you can survive and then pick up your pokemon it's not even you don't even have to attack with it that's just it sitting in the active so Siglyph's pretty cool. I like that concept. I don't know how it'll be used right away, but I'm I'm excited for that, um, for sure. Uh, and it's not weak to Psychic, which is actually super huge. I did not realize that. Um, that means it hits 80 plus Choice Band 110. Um, with Sonic Wind, this attack isn't affected by resistance. Super nice. Um, so you don't get stopped by things that resist you. And then also you can one-shot things weak to Psychic um as well so that is super hype intercept uh gx 60 times this attack does 60 times the damage uh 60 times the number of energies attached to your opponent's active pokemon that's pretty awesome um what three three that's 180 plus choice band you're doing one you're doing 210 for three energies uh against them really really strong attack Siglift, i think we'll we'll see some play especially because it is psychic too um you're gonna be able to malamar to it and whatnot the thing is this thing is good um i give this like a four four out of five for sure um i like it i i could be wrong but i enjoy this card we have sukun gx basic water pokemon at 180 health Phantom win once during your turn. This Pokemon is, uh, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle it. Uh, this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. Interesting. Um, I can see this deck being something, or this being something with the um, Wob, not the Wob, uh, the Quagmire or Quagsire, uh, Giggity. So you'll be able to attack, take a hit, retreat, move your energies up, and then shuffle it back in the deck so you don't leave damage on the board. So it'll be kind of—it's kind of a free heal or free max potion in itself, especially because you can Quagmire or Quagsire the energies off. Um, we have Cure Stream for Water, Water, Colorless, 120 damage during your opponent's next turn the defending pokemon's attacks do 30 less damage that's super good for attacking you you get to hopefully tank a little bit more as well um really nice 
So Sukun is definitely living up to its bold uh, nature and being a tank. That's going to be pretty fun. I, I think that'll be a fun deck too. Uh, Brin Sile GX, 150 damage, switch to the Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. 150 plus choice ban, that means you can knock out 180s. Um, Ray, Lele, things like that. Um, not bad. And then not leave it on the in the active, so you can put up something to either wall or stall. So, Sukun seems interesting. Very niche, but I can see people coming up with fun decks with this right away. Um... God dang it. I d uh, second slide that I didn't do. I thought I got all these done, and I, I man, feels bad. Um, so we have Tyranitar. We have Lugia and Macargo GX again. Yes, man, feels bad. Ugh. I guess my, and I did not even, I guess my double check run through didn't even catch it either. I'm so blind. Um, Tyranitar GX. Um lost out if one of your opponent's pokemon is knocked out uh by damage from this pokemon's attacks put them uh that pokemon all cards attached to it to the lost zone pretty interesting it's kind of like the gengar i kind of think if i remember correctly from legacy um so will be interesting to take people's resources and take them out of the game uh it is a stage two 250 health a lot of health but it again stage two um Nice to have T-Tar, though. Uh, Vicious Sandstorm, 130. Dark, dark, colorless. Damn, uh, this attack does 30 to each of your opponent's bench basic Pokemon. So um, definitely can add up quick, especially if they're running like spread or things like that. Um, or if they can't evolve their bench Pokemon fast enough, you can definitely take things out. Um, but you are a Sage 2, so fast enough is like, how fast are you getting your Sage off and attacking? I don't know. Smackdown GX. This attack to, isn't affected uh, by any effects of the defending Pokemon. It does 220 damage. I forgot to put that down there. Um, 220 damage is huge. Choice Band does 250. Uh, it's not affected by anything, so you're able to kill any of the walls. Uh, Hoopa, uh, Ninetales. Really, really cool. Probably more of a fan favorite, but uh, maybe we can see something come out of it. But... Titar, probably one of the weaker GXs of the set, for sure. Um, Shuckle GX, forgot to do that too. Uh, so this is Verizian GX. Uh, <laughs> God damn, uh, Verizian GX for one colorless double or draw, yeah, double draw, draw two cards. They really like putting that on Verizian. I don't know what Verizian, something Verizian does does two all the time or something. I don't know, but it always has double draw. It feels. But double grass, uh, sensitive blade, 50 plus for your opponent. If your opponent does a supporter card, uh, it does 80 more damage. So 130 plus choice band, 160. Kakui, 180. Kind of niche at a 170 health basic, but um, breeze away is pretty cool. At colorless, put any number of your opponent or, or any number of your Pokemon in play, and all cards attach them into your hand. Uh, so you can pick up a lot of damage this way, um, pick up a lot of energies, and do other things as well. Uh, with the new unknown. Ooh, that'll be cool, Striper. I like that. And then we have Zero Aura GX, the new mythic and or legendary. I can't remember what they m marked this as, but Zero Aura GX, the ability each of your opponent, uh, each of, well, I don't know why I keep saying that. Each of your Pokemon that has lightning energy attached to it has no retreat. Very nice. It's kind of like a Tapu Fini, or not Tapu Fini. Oh my God. Blah, Manaphy. Sorry. Um, really, really nice. With that, you can use that on a lot of things. Also, it's 190 health. Pretty healthy for a basic Pokemon. Uh, its first attack is Lightning Lightning Colorless, 160. It can't be used the next turn, but 160 is huge. You can also power that up with the new item. Um, that gives it 30 more damage. Also, you can use the new Stadium with it. Uh, also, you can... Uh, just Guzma and use it again. Very, very strong. Very strong. It'll be cool. What's up, Candy Cell? How you doing? Thanks, everybody, for swinging in. We are doing this for YouTube. Sorry if I'm not checking in on chat as much. Um, I'm just going over these cards and uh, having fun with it. Hope you're having a good time. Thank you so much for swinging in. 
this the new set will be coming out soon and we'll also be having uh, a big marathon coming up with purple cliff and ryan was taken so that'll be fun definitely stick tune and check that out here coming up in the future um and then we have voltage gx base attach five basic energies from your discard pile to your pokemon in any way you like uh really good for one energy um getting five energies in your discard might not be too terrible and uh you'll be able to set up basically two pokemon fairly easily it's kind of like the turtonator gx uh but for lightning so that'll be really cool we now have then the prism stars uh, we have, what, seven Prism Stars total, three Stadiums, three Pokemon, and a Waifu. Uh, or, I mean, a Prism Star Lusamine. Uh, so we'll go over these. Uh, we got the Prism Star Stadiums, the Thunder Mountain Prism. Uh, no retreat costs. Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, you'd have to have multiple set up, though, Banana. Uh right but other than that yeah the you do have the free retreat which is nice makes it real easy for guzma if anything uh and then so thunder mountain prism uh the attacks of each player's lightning pokemon is one less super good all the prism star uh stadiums all can't be removed by blower they can only be bumped by a stadium uh and you can only have one in the deck and when they get removed, they go to the Lost Zone. Uh, so that is the Thunder Mountain Prism. Very, very strong. Five out of five. Um, kind of like the Psychic Stadium in Expanded. Uh, very, very strong. It, it is a Prism, so you can only have one. But once you get that going, it will be able to pull through. And you can use it the turn that you put it down, which is very nice. Uh, we have Life Forest Prism Star. Once during your each player's turn, that player may heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of their grass Pokemon. Uh, really nice. In the mirror match, you'll probably have this stuck in your hand. It'll never be removed. Same thing with the Thunder Mountain Prism. They'll never be removed in the mirror match uh, unless they happen to play another stadium for whatever reason. Uh, we have that Healing 60. It's basically... Uh, center lady which is really nice but how much will it come in effect it'll probably come in effect a little bit but we'll see this one is probably the mid one uh it's probably thunder mountain into life forest into the heat factory heat factory is really good too but i think the uh the life forest you can use right away to remove special conditions um and heal which 60 is a lot um yeah, you have to stadium bump it. Strifer, correct. Um, and then we have Heat Factory Prism. Uh, once during your turn, you may discard a fire energy. And if you do, draw three cards. It's kind of like Scorched Earth, but a little bit stronger. Uh, there's no extra effects to it, but three cards is really strong. And drawing cards, nef nothing's ever wrong with that. But uh, Fire Dex will run it. It'll probably get bumped fairly easily. Uh, mirror matches you'll love to have your opponent to have it first or you'll have it whoever has it you'll be happy because you'll both be able to take advantage of it so prism star stadiums pretty cool lightning uh, mountain definitely has a lot of uh, play and things that you can do with it so excited to see what comes of that we have the prism pokemon uh, celebi prism star xerneas prism star and ditto prism star very, very cool to get more Prism Star Pokemon. Uh, glad that they're keeping with the theme because you can definitely put a lot of power into Pokemon with the Prism Star mechanic along with them. So we have Selby Prism Star for one colorless time warp. Choose any number of your evolved Pokemon in play. For each of those Pokemon, remove the highest stage evolution and put it in your hand. Uh, definitely interesting. It's a reverse Devolve, kind of a reverse Espeon, um, but you can choose... Uh, it would be a way of getting rid of fat damage, though, um, in against spread decks. If you if they have a lot of damage on, let's say, a Gardevoir or and that's probably a terrible thing, but you know, 250 over 200 health Pokemon, uh, you are then able to then devolve it and give them only one prize and remove a lot of damage off the board. So pretty interesting mechanic. Uh, don't see a lot of play for it, but pretty interesting. 
Uh, we have Leech Seed, 20 damage, heals 10 from this Pokemon. And it's very minuscule. Uh, its other attack is what would give it power. Uh, Xerneas Prism Star. Life Road, once during your turn, when this Pokemon is moved from your bench... Uh, from your bench to become your active you may move any number of energies from the other pokemon to this pokemon uh very very cool it's kind of like a tapu coco but you can use it multiple times um as far as when it becomes from your bench to your active you can then uh attack for 160 for triple fairy energy you can't use the attack multiple times uh, very interesting strong 190 for choice band triple fairy uh I don't know. I can see it being a one of in fairy decks for sure. We have then Ditto Prism Star. The Prism Star I've been waiting for for a long time. It's going to be super cool. Uh, going to help a lot of decks and give basically a fifth basic to a lot of decks as well. So its ability evolve into anything. During your turn, you may play a stage one evolution card from your hand onto this Pokemon to evolve it. Super nice. Um, It'll basically allow you for a fifth Pokemon, a uh, fifth basic, or uh, allow for fun, weird stage one techs as well, uh, which would be really cool. So, some decks, if you wanted, you could, if you play Unit Energy and, let's say, Lorantis, or that's just a random example not saying Lorantis would be the one but you can put a Lorantis in for one grass can attack and attach energies really random but if your deck has nothing to do with that you can still have that as a one of tech and it it the prism lets you do a lot of crazy stuff um you can't did candy ditto no um it only evolves to stage one but uh has a lot of play to go along with it it allows you flex if you need to um, go deeper into your main attacker um, evolutions in a multiple stage deck, or it lets you go into, let's say, a Lorantis uh, baby so that you can increase damage in a Sceptile deck. Things like that. Uh, what's up, Kirby? How you doing? So, very, very excited for that. We then have Prism Waifu. We have Lusamine Prism Star. You may play this card on, uh, only if your opponent has three cards remaining. Or three prizes remaining. My bad. Um, pretty interesting for Ultra Beast deck. Uh, prevent all damage to your Ultra Beast during, to your, by your opponent's attack during your opponent's next turn. Um, so what you can do is you can either force Baby Buzz or Lusamine. Um, in some situations, you can either say, would you like to go into the Baby Buzz turn and take a, a hit from that? Or would you like to go into a Lusamine turn and take a hit without you being able to hit back? Um, so, very interesting card. Definitely cool for for the set. I don't know how much it'll be played, but uh, definitely a nice art. And it's Lusamine. Very, very nice. So, that's all the Prism Stars. We then have eight new supporters for well maybe not new there's some of them are probably reprints to be honest but we have eight supporters for this set that are um not as a prism or whatnot so these eight supporters will be going over here in just a second uh we have aether foundation employee and professor elms lecture the aether foundation employee put three alone pokemon from your discard into your hand uh very very cool this is kind of a stronger stretcher because you get to put three into your hand so if you're a lolan deck it's can have strong synergies in some situations uh because you don't have it it kind of combines both sides of the stretcher um and allows you to put three into your hand so let's say if you have three alolan base pokemon that have died or have been knocked out you can then put your three alolan volpix back out and keep chaining that um instead of having to use a stretcher to shuffle them all back and then use balls to get them on the bench so or only get one basic back so super cool card uh i don't know how much play it'll get but definitely has interesting features um professor elms lecture 
Search your deck for up to three Pokemon with 60 health or less. Reveal them, put them in your hand, and shuffle your deck. Really cool. It's kind of like Collector or Bridget, but instead of it going to your bench for Bridget, you get to put it in your hand. That's why it's like Collector. It does have the 60 health uh, requirement. There's a lot of 70 and 80 health basics now, and so it does require for some decks to not be able to use it but definitely we'll be back into Zoric decks for consistency um, and things like that because three Pokemon out is just huge um, very very good card five out of five will be used in a lot of decks that need to set up that way um, we have Faba and Kalili I believe it is uh, Faba the better Zorosic he even looks like a weird Zorosa kind of, but green instead of orange. Um, choose one of your opponent's tool cards, special energy cards, or stadium in play and put it in the Lost Zone. It's literally Zorosic, but you get to do stadium as well. And you get to put it to the Lost Zone, which means they can't recover it. Uh, very, very strong. We'll replace Zorosic in many, many places. And I'm guessing all places. I don't understand why one would play Zorosic other than maybe the full art. I... I it's just a complete just all around better card uh we have kalili draw two cards flip a coin if heads put kalili back in your hand uh instead of discarding it pretty interesting um more of a fun mimi card but definitely an interesting mechanic to it uh i don't if you're lucky this thing can definitely go places but you can only play it once a turn because it's a support so realistically Flipping heads to play a draw two support again is, uh, eh. So we have Mina and Morty. Um, we have Mina, search your deck for a fairy energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. Very good. It's kind of like a blacksmith, but from your deck, but for only one. Uh, normally, attach energy cards are very good of some way. Um, so, really, really cool. Um, yeah, I could buy Zerosic. Uh, I think this thing could see play. I don't know exactly where, but definitely fun. Um, and like I said, basically anything that lets you skip attaching energy, um, Blacksmith, Max Elixir, ten, tend to see play and tend to, can be used to abuse things. So very, very interesting. Um, it also lets you search your deck, so it might allow for one of fairy techs and things like that. But what's up, Select? How's it going? Good to see you. Um, thanks, everybody, for swinging in. We are filming uh, my first YouTube video um, doing the set review, so much appreciate everybody in Twitch chat chilling and relaxing for this. Sorry that I'm not super chatting back and forth with you while we're going through this. I'm trying to get through this so I don't seem like a complete utter umulator but thanks again it really means a lot so we have morty morty you can only play this card if one of your psychic pokemon is knocked out during your opponent's last turn kind of cool i really like the effect of your certain pokemon being knocked out being able to uh do these effects it gives you some power because it lets you be reactive with things your opponent reveals their hand choose two cards find it uh that you find there and they shuffle it into their deck it'd be cool if you discarded them oh it is attached to the fairy pokemon uh i don't think it is attached to a fairy pokemon yeah no i think it's just uh f attach a fairy energy to a um to any pokemon i don't think it's um there's no fairy restriction it's just the fairy energy restriction oh yeah yeah sorry okay yeah my bad strifer i missed that um so this card would be in like way better if it discarded them but still very strong you could dead draw people uh depending on the situation and really disrupt this is cool disruption for sure uh, you have to play it in a psychic deck but uh i can see this seeing play for sure a lot of people like to disrupt things uh we have sightseer and whitney uh sightseer's art looks really nice uh draw a card from your deck until you have five cards in your hand before drawing you may discard any number of cards from your hand this is actually really cool um i think for some reason sightseer is a remake possibly but uh this allows you to draw up but let's say you have 10 cards in hand that wrote them 
for i don't know how you get 10 cards in your hand but let's just imagine the possibilities you can then play sightseer and discard 10 cards and draw five and you can discard all your tools and it'll allows you to get rid of stuff which we've kind of only had a couple things for other than uh it's not oh that's cool thank you so much dominator um so it really allows you to get rid of cards and then get more which we've only had like what sophocles um our discard supporter is definitely been lacking so sightseer is interesting i can see it possibly being used i don't know um i'll play around with it some but again if you want to discard things in your deck we've been highly lacking stuff other than balls um so that'll be fun. I like that a lot. Um, and then we have Whitney. Draw one card. Draw additional two cards for each Whitney in your discard pile. Uh, pretty, pretty weak. I don't know. Maybe if we get something that lets you, like, maybe if we get another, I don't know. Whitney has mill tank, right? Maybe we'll get a mill tank that does damage based on however many Whitney's are in your discard. Um... I don't know. The best this could be would be, uh, oh, well, actually, so if you had three in there, so you draw a card and then it'd be two, four, six, it would, it's wow. So this is actually quite interesting, right? Because if you have three in the discard, you draw a card and you draw, so it's draw seven with three in the discard. I could see playing this in expanded, uh, kind of cool very very hard to like in some situations pull off but but it could be interesting yeah um the mill tank is pretty good right now too for sure well we have that on the on the slideshow i'm excited so remaining items and energies we have a bunch of different items or and or energy i should sim single singular So we have a bunch of different items, um, a bunch of fairy charms, and then we have a new uh, energy. I don't know if, I'm guessing memory energy is uh, definitely new, but we'll, we'll end up seeing. I'm guessing someone will help me out with that. So I split these into sets of four. We have adventuring satchel, choice helmet, counter gain, and counter or, or custom catcher. Um, very, very, oh, did I put a K in there? Oh no, the, it's a R. <laughs> it's just the funky, uh, Thing. it's new cool so adventuring satchel search your deck for up to two tool cards reveal them and put them in your hand shuffle th then shuffle um it's basically turn one card into two cards it thins your deck um could be very cool for rotom lets you uh put things in your hand um up your hand for then a sightseer whatnot very very cool um for that deck i don't see it maybe tool drop could use this as well um being able to because it is plus one um in your hand you use it to grab two cards so that's always nice um so tool drop might be able to use it as well so adventuring satchel interesting card for the archetypes it goes in very very useful uh we have oh i guess also Another thing this could be used for would be uh, you could play Satchel as a as a target for Nine Tails. So you can get let's say a ball plus Satchel, so that you can then get three things from your Nine Tails technically instead of two. It it allows you then you can get a skateboard and choice band plus whatever else you'd need out of the two items so it kind of could be interesting in that aspect allowing you to get extra stuff too um from the deck allowing for different flex plays um so that'll be interesting i'm very excited for that one choice helmet this is basically the opposite of choice band which is i i can see it being used in some situations uh it can also be used to negate uh choice band as well which 
is good in, let's say, the Mime decks where you, you would have to use the Stadium to negate Choice Band. So this technically negates Choice Band as well um, with the Mimes, even though Mime is not super good, but it is, it is an option. Uh, reduce 30 damage. Very, very interesting. Candy Ball, Choice Band, um, all from tables. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, so Choice Helmet. I don't see it being very used. A lot of the reactive stuff is hard. Um, it, it can be used in a less blower heavy format, um, or if a lot of the meta decks aren't using blowers. Uh, double choice helmet on Genesect. Ooh, girl, you know. That's how we do. Uh, so that'll be fun. <laughs> it's definitely just a hard helmet. Uh, at least it's not a frying pan. Wait, no. Uh, so we have counter gain. One of the coolest cards uh, in the set. Very, very good comeback mechanic. We don't have one with the loss of N uh, very much anymore. So this is a good... Well, okay, I lied. We, we do have some, but with the loss of N, there, it doesn't feel like we have a bunch. Um, so counter gain gives us that a little bit back. You can use it on any Pokemon. It doesn't have the non-GX requirement uh, like a lot of the other counter stuff is. So with the counter energy on non-GX Pokemon, you can end up attacking stuff with, that has three energy requirements for one energy drop. Super cool. You can also put it on to GX Pokemon to make it uh, attack for less. Uh, with the Lightning Stadium, you can put that on Zeraora. With counter gain, you can attack for one Lightning Energy if you're behind. Super cool card. I can see it being played. I can see it also not being used a bunch, but... Uh, I can I I can see it not in every deck, but I can see some decks using it for sure. So really cool card. Excited for the future of that. We have then Custom Catcher, which you can play two of them. It's kind of like puzzles a little bit, whatnot. Uh, but with that, if you play one card, you can draw until from your deck until you have three cards in your hand. Really cool uh, feature for having the ability to play one. You can really draw out of situations with it instead of it being a dead card in your hand. Uh, but if you have two, you can then basically Lysander something out as an item, which would be cool. Ninetales, maybe in some Ninetales deck, you can go Ninetales for double custom catcher so that you can support plus Lysander something out. But it feels like you're probably playing four, uh, four custom catchers at that point and it's pretty hefty on the item, or on not just the item count, but on a deck uh, structure for custom catchers. It is nice for drawing out, but we'll see how that's used. Excited. It's a cool effect. Uh, very, very fun in some situations. Uh, but like I said, you'll probably be playing four so that you can actually use the double effect more often. Uh, and that's pretty rough. So we have Electric, Power, Lost Mixer, Moo Moo, Milk, and Mix Herb. Uh, electric Power, probably one of the coolest items of the set for sure. Uh, very, very hype and strong. We'll kind of give Lightning some more oomph and maybe we'll see some more Lightning decks kind of uh, run around. Unfortunately, they are weak to fighting a lot of times and Buzz just kind of is Buzz. But Electric Power, Let's you add 30 more damage to your lightning Pokemon to your active uh, when you attack to your opponent's active Pokemon. So Coco with Choice Band and Ele Electric Power um, lets you attack for 190, knock out a Buzz uh, with a Coco, which is nice. So without weakness, very very cool. See that being used in a lot of decks. You can also do it with Rotom. Rotom hits 120 with that 150 plus Choice Band 180. Uh, I use plus powers already in my Rotom deck, so this is just a, a more oomphed plus power. Very, very cool. So we'll we'll definitely see play with that. Lost Mixer, five out of five card. This card will be used in all the Lost Zone decks, and then this card could even be used in some other decks as well. It uh, lets you get rid of two cards and draw a card, and it goes to the Lost Zone, so you don't end up fueling Garb you don't end up fueling other things um very very cool concept uh draw a card for two 
Um, it is a, a neg of, of card advantage, but definitely will be used in Lost Zone decks to get things set up. Uh, and or Lost March and like I said, we'll be using some other decks possibly for negging uh, items from your discard or other things. So very interesting. I really like that card. Uh, Moo Moo Milk, I'm pretty sure is a remake. I'm like 99% sure. Choose one of your Pokemon, flip two coins for each head, heal 30 damage from each of that uh, from that Pokemon. So 60 damage if you hit two heads, zero if you hit both tails. Uh, super meh card, but cool, cool art, I guess. Fun. And we have Whitney and stuff, so it, it reaches, it mixes in with the set theme, so it's fun. Uh, Mix Herb, Mix Herb, you play two Mix Herb cards at once. It has the puzzle effect or like the custom catcher effect. Uh, if you play one, it removes a special condition from your active Pokemon. Pretty cool. It's like a Masala without uh, without a heal. Uh, if you play two, remove 90 damage and all special conditions. So it removes all of them really strong and 90 but again you're probably playing four uh and you're probably not going to get much it's it's a lot of healing but you're probably not going to get this off very often to be honest um kind of cool though we'll end up seeing maybe i'm completely off on that uh, we have Netball here, and so we have the next set of four. Netball, uh, React Hammer, Spell Tag. Uh, you have the whole, the milk in your hand? Yeah. Um, for the for the new mill tank. Um, spell Tag and Memory Energy. Uh, Netball, really, really strong ball in this set. Search your deck for a basic grass or a... Uh, Basic, basic grass Pokemon or a grass energy. Um, really, really strong. Uh, reveal it and put it in your hand. Shelf your deck. So if you've already set up, you can go grab energy, which is huge. Um, if you have energy, you can go grab Pokemon, basic Pokemon. Um, very, very good card. If you're playing a grass deck, you'll probably play four of these. Uh, you don't have to discard anything. Very, very little downfall. Super strong. Very, very good. Five out of five card in the netball. For the archetypes it's played in. React Hammer. I, uh, I don't know what decks you're playing this in to get this off. But I I don't know. This card can only be used by the player going second on their first turn. Discard energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon in play. So, one, they have to put an energy down on their first turn. Two, you have to have this in your hand going second. Like, three, multiple hammers is... Nolan, you don't want to really run multiple hammers. They're just dead cards in your hand. This card seems very, very, very niche. Uh, rough. If you pull this off, I feel like it's not very often. But I don't know. Definitely an interesting card. Order pad? Yeah. Oh, that's a good call, I guess. Um, order pad... But rough, rough, right, tough talk. Um, but I can see that then. But other than that, rough one. Uh, spell tag, pretty cool card. I like this one. Uh, if your psychic Pokemon with this card is attached, uh, with this card attached to it is knocked out by your uh, Pokemon's attack, or opponent's Pokemon attack, put four damage counters onto your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Really strong. Um, because you can put it on uh, on any Pokemon, so can definitely hit things perfectly or add up correctly uh, with it. You can also add this onto the Siglift, um, and allows you to basically knock out and add three extra damage counters to stuff. Like so, if they so if it's a Buzzwall, if you have this on Siglift. They attack it, kill the Siglyph. They take 170 from Siglyph plus 20 from this, and you get to put two damage elsewhere. Um, super good. Um, oh, yeah. Very, very cool card. Spell tag. I can see that being played as well. Order pad sucks. Order pad is amazing. I don't know what you talk about. <laughs> Um, we have memory energy. Memory energy provides a colorless energy when attached. Uh, this Pokemon, 
that has this attached can use its previous evolutions attacks really cool card uh it's like the celebi or shrine of memories um i can see this card being used to be honest in some decks we will definitely find something um we can use this in the lily pup deck right um what's it called uh stoutland stoutland raichu just got like a little bit stronger luxray yeah hey what's up suzaku good to see ya um because do you have to have colored energy in that deck so you, you you don't even need to play celebi right or you can play celebi and this as a as a double coverage and you're fine you never have to worry about anything that's gross that'll be interesting um the deck doesn't get played super often but people do play it and uh it is very oppressive and just giving it an extra energy or giving it an energy that it runs it can be e-hammered and whatnot but that you don't have to have celebi out or um anything yeah definitely strong cool set of energies cool set of stuff we have then the fairy charms we have four different fairy charms. They all do the same thing, kind of, but they're all different set, different types. We have the dragon, we have fighting, we have grass, and we have psychic. All of them prevent damage uh, to your psych or your, to your fairy Pokemon that uh, they're attached to from their respective types. So um, this will be interesting, very niche. I don't know how much they'll get played. It's kind of like the memories, but uh, very, very niche because um what the fighting one and the psychic one seem really good uh i guess dragon and grass are good too glissopod and Rayquaza, buzzwall these are really good types uh it's just you have to hit correctly if you built if you built your deck correctly and you hit your matchups well it probably would be fine but if you just hit the wrong matchups it's just a dead card um but really, really cool. Uh, I thought puzzles was in shot clock. Uh, it is, but I don't think you need puzzles in shot clock. You just take back VS Seeker uh, Devo Spray, right? You should be fine. Um, what's up, Mr. Fo uh, Fox? Went 1 3 at the local challenge. It was fun. Expanded is but fun. Hey, that's awesome. Hell yeah. A metal fairy charm that would be super good being able to take out your weakness from that so fairy charms are interesting we'll see how they get played maybe i'll get just completely blown out of the water by the deck um but super excited we then have the lost marchers lost march is pretty interesting very very cool set of mechanics um we have two lost march attackers as of right now technically we have then a lost march line and then we have uh the not to uh uh, um, the not two that can attack with it as well. So we have the Hop Pip, Skip Loom, and Drumpliff line. The Hop Pip is just a normal Pokemon. The the Skip Loom is super strong. Skip Loom's ability, a uh, Flower Bridge, allows you once per turn. You may search your deck for a Jumpluff and switch it with this Pokemon. Place this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into the Lost Zone. So basically, you can do that. It, on your second turn you can evolve and then swap it so you get a free um evolve it skips the stage or doesn't it kind of skips the stage not really but it comes from your deck and then it um it only takes one grass energy to attack um for 20 times the amount of po uh, your pokemon in the lost zone so that adds two into the lost zone if you do that twice you can then attack for 80 for one grass energy 20 40 yeah 80 um and so on very very cool um uh yeah i do i so i saw the tumbeek and i was i like it seems very niche i don't know i was gonna put it on there but um it seems very niche i didn't I, maybe i just read it wrong but i'll definitely yeah i'll probably be uh wrong on that one for sure i think i had that on my extra sets of stuff we have then have spinner act for one grass um web vanish your opponent's active pokemon is poisoned and paralyzed uh put this pokemon and all cards attached to it into the lost zone very very good it adds one more to the lost zone stalls out the game 
for you, does some damage, um, adds plus one to your loss zone count. Very, very cool. What's up, Cursor? Good to see you. And then we have Natu for double colorless, loss march, 20 damage. It does the same thing, 20 times the amount of Pokemon in the loss zone. Uh, very, very cool. It's kind of like Night March, but instead of... Um, Instead of it being in the discard, it is in your Lost Zone. Very, very fun. It puts it into the Lost Zone. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I totally missed that one. Feels bad. Oops. All right. So we then have interesting non-GX Pokemon. So I kind of picked a bunch of non-GX Pokemon to go through uh, and read and give you some information on that I thought were cool. Um... I could have. I definitely probably missed a lot of other cards as well. There are a bunch of cards in this set, and uh, very, very. The stage two, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go over some of these. I have uh, two sets of these slides, so we're gonna go over it. We have Ampharos. Invisible Flash. Once during your turn, you may put two lightning energy cards from your hand into the Lost Zone. If you do, uh, leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. Um, really cool. I don't know. It's still on a stage two, but it could definitely stall out a game for two energy. Um, definitely interesting. We have then Giratina. This card has a lot of play to it. I think this could see a lot of play. Uh, Torn Door, once during your turn, this Pokemon, uh, is, if this Pokemon is in your discard, you may put it into play from your onto your bench. Put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Um, very, very cool. Does, uh, can add up and give you some good damage on things as well. Uh, and so very, very awesome and excited about that one. Uh, with a lot of other things, can synergize well with it too. Uh, oh wow, jeez. Yeah, uh, we then have Grovile, Sunshine Grace. It's kind of like the Gabite in Legacy where you can search up a Pokemon or a Dragon Pokemon. This is for Grass. Very, very strong. Sceptile Lorantis probably. Uh, very, very cool. You just search your deck for a Grass Pokemon, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. You can chain Grovile and then Grovile and then Grovile. Things like that. Very fun. Uh, we have Meganium, Early Ripened Herb. Uh, once during your turn, you may choose one of your basic Pokemon in play. If you have the Sage 2 in your hand, you may evolve it and put it onto that basic Pokemon. It's kind of a free uh, rare candy. Very, very cool. It is on a Stage 2, um, but maybe um, depending on what it is, you can end up running um, maybe as a fun of uh multiple stage twos now because it allows you to have a free candy instead of reusing a candy uh it's a 150 mon it is still on a stage two but definitely interesting i thought that was cool we have milk tank for triple colorless milk cannon you may reveal any number of moo milk cards from your hand if you're uh to your opponent it does 60 damage to each of the opponent to eat for each of the cards revealed that way so if you reveal all four Moo Moo Milk, you do 240 damage. Uh, very, very strong. Uh, it is triple energy, but you can use Malamar plus DCE to set that up. Um, the main thing is getting Moo Moo's in your hand, but uh, definitely super cool. Uh, you can also use Malo, um, Order Pads, things like that. Very, very cool. If you have three, it does 180 plus Choice Band 210. Mill Tank is super cool. Um, we'll see some fun meme from that for sure. Uh, we have Primarina, Harmonix. When you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, you may attach a second energy, in, uh, attach two energies instead. Uh, very, very cool for either, either especially the Primarina GX, um, because it attacks with more, uh, energies on the board. Uh, it can definitely add up. It's a cool effect. I don't know how viable it'll be for sure. It's a stage two. But cool effect. I thought it was fun. Uh... Oh. That is true. Yep. Septiles go into the guard. I, yeah, I didn't realize that. Shenotic does it, but Shenotic's kind of a... 
a waste of a card. At least Grovile can be going into the Sceptile. But yeah, we, we've had had that effect. It's just not on a Pokemon that could go into something else. So that's interesting. I never thought about that. Um, we have Rabombi. Uh, Mystic Buzz, as long as this Pokemon uh, is on your bench, whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to your fairy Pokemon in play. So it'll stop Guzma. Um, it'll stop Plumarumia. Uh, really, really cool. Um, it's a little Rabombi. It is a stage one. Uh, but I thought the energy, I thought the support was cool, or the ability was cool. So that's why I put it on there. We then have this other set. We have then Shedinja, Life Vessel. Once during your turn, you may discard all cards attached to this Pokemon and attach it to one of your Pokemon as a tool. Uh, they take one less prize card for that Pokemon they take. Very interesting, very cheesy. I think this can see play and, and just be super cheesy. Uh, you have to evolve it, but if you get this evolve off and you can attach it without them blowing, it's basically a free... It's a free prize trade. It's actually nutty, I think, in my head. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But it, maybe it is two cards, so it's kind of gross. But if a deck can abuse this, I think it's going to be good. Uh, we then have the Shuckle Non-GX. Juice Extractor, once during your turn, you may play this card from your hand uh, onto the bench. You may search your deck for three energy cards, uh, three basic energy cards, and discard them. Shuffle afterwards. Uh interesting you'll be able to throw away some energy um it can it's not just grass so you can throw away any energy i think that shuckle can see play in some stuff ability to help it or the stage oh that's cool nice um we have typhlosion burning energy this is kind of like the charizard ability once during your turn you may choose to treat all energies attached uh as fire energy until end of turn so you could end up playing this in like the magna zone list or no well yeah you can play this in the magna zone list uh you can play this in or with the magna zone with lightning or metal energies you can play um whatnot it turns it all into fire you can attack it puts two of the energies in the lost zone um pretty cool 120 it's a stage two so it's 160 health uh we have what steelix as 190 as a stage one so its health is very low um it does good damage 150 um but with choice ban eh, i don't know pretty cool though i thought the ability and stuff was fun we have vespa queen for one grass queen command does 120 damage if you don't have five grass pokemon on your bench it does nothing uh so pseudo wudo just automatically shuts this off uh very very sad um, but 120 damage for one grass, really good. Uh, the combi's set up as well for you with its attack, I believe. Um, and so 150 with choice ban. But again, Sudowoodo just automatically just shuts your deck off, unfortunately. So Ninjask, uh, grass, 80 health stage 1. Evolves from, uh, Ninkata. Shed Shell, uh, when you play this card from your hand, evolve when your Pokemon... You may uh, put a Shininja from your discard pile on to your bench. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Cool. So that has a lot of other things that I missed out on as well. So there's there's a lot of good synergies in this set. Uh, the next one we have Alolan Vulpix. Uh, that goes along with the Alolan Ninetales. Secret shortcut. If you have a fairy Pokemon in play, it has no retreat. Uh, it's pretty cool. It doesn't have the beacon of attack, so you can't go searching, but uh, it does give you free retreat, so I don't know. The bacon attack might get used, um, but having free retreat in the fairy decks is nice, too. So, uh, very, very cool ability. I thought that was fun. We have Wobbuffet. Sh uh, Shield Tail. As long as this Pokemon is in on your bench, each player's Prism Star Pokemon can't attack and has no abilities. Definitely interesting. There's a lot of Prism Stars getting thrown around. Um, it, it does have a niche effect. If Prism Stars get really, really, really big, uh, Wobs can definitely just come down onto the bench and stop them. But uh, definitely a cool card. I thought the ability could could see play in something. Um, or if Prisms ever got really crazy. And then we have Zib Strika. 
Uh, fast break. Once during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. Very, very cool stage one. Um, this, I, I, it might be, a, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a stage two. Shit. Um, it might be a stage two, actually. Uh, very, very cool. Zib Strika, um, has a lot of effect. Is it stage one? Okay, good. Stage one, uh, this, you could use this in a lot of stuff to throw away cards. Uh, draw four is nice still, but really you could have a handful of 10 tools and fast break, discard 10 tools and have your Rotoms turn on just from that and draw four. Uh, very, very fun effect. I think that thing will be, will be used in some situations. We'll see where it gets used, but I think that's cool. Um, so those are some of the non-GX cards. There are a ton of different other cards from this set. The set is ginormous. They put so much in here. It just absolutely blows my mind. But uh, definitely check them all out. We'll be going over more uh, throughout the set. And when I open up the cards, we'll be looking at them as well. So uh, we'll be doing the Lost Thunder Um uh, marathon coming up with purple cliff and ryan was taken so definitely keep an eye out for that coming up in the future uh, so very very much appreciate everybody coming and hanging out for this on twitch uh definitely check out and follow and subscribe on youtube and twitch and check out twitter as well thank you again everybody for coming and uh hopefully we have more of this content going out y'all are awesome and uh it was a fun, fun set to go over. Thanks again.